This video will show you how to embed an image into some Weebly text. So first go ahead and drag the text over and put whatever text you want in here. And now um, after you have your text inserted, you're going to drag your image on top of the text. So I'm going to click and drag this image and you'll notice when you see um, a light blue outline that's when you want to let go. If you have the text over here at the edge you'll see a blue bar going up and down and if I let go now that image is going to be over at the edge. If I let go with the blue bar at the top the image will go up on top. But what I really want is to have that image embedded so I want to hold it until I see it over the top of the text and now that's where it is. I've got a little spacer here I'm going to delete that got created. Okay so this um, image is graphic is here and it may be over on the right but don't worry about that for now. We're going to click upload and we're going to put the image inside our text and the image might not be the size that you want and that's okay because you can click on the lower right hand corner and resize it and you can click in the middle of it and you're going to see all these different things that you can do. If you click on light box then when someone clicks on the image it will enlarge and go a really large size for them. I can align it over to the left, the right, or I can even um, try to center it. Sometimes it will center, sometimes it won't. And um, then I can adjust the spacing. So when I change it from side to side, I'll probably want to adjust the sizing. I never like to have a margin at the top. I do like a nice bottom margin. And then I like a side uh, margin over on whichever side the text. In this case, it's along the left hand side. So I'm going to increase that one and I'm going to delete it over on the right because I don't want it. Um, inset from the text over here. I want it flush with the text, but I wanted some space here. If I wanted even a little bit more space on the left margin, I could increase it some more. Um, again, I can enlarge it by dragging hold of this bottom right hand handle. I can edit the photo some more if I like to on edit image. And I can do a variety of different things like cropping, rotating, opacity, um, fade and some effects like turning it black and white. I can add another image on top of it if I like to as well. Um, I will let you know that if you crop then the light room uh, light box effect won't work anymore. So again you just click on it and you have all these different options here and you can even add a caption if you like um, if that's something that you want to play around with. When you're done again click publish and you'll have your picture embedded. We'll also say that if you didn't want it embedded you could still drag it around and you can also click in that edit and replace it that way too and just edit the image and then hit the delete key or the backspace and it will be gone.